Hyun Kim. So here is the South Korean, the stun gun Dong Hyun Kim, came into the UFC with a judo background. Outstanding takedowns, Joe, but this is a very well-rounded fighter as well, can kill you with his striking. We've seen a lot of devastating knees and Muay Thai skills in his arsenal. And this is a guy who steps into that pocket with a fearlessness that has really made him a fan favorite, really dating to his UFC debut, which came all the way back at UFC 84 in 2008. Dong Young Kim is an extremely talented judo player and a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Very effective takedowns, a solid submission game, and he has some power in that straight left of his. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Kim is five years the elder. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 22 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the stun gun, Dong Young Kim! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long... You ready to fight? Ready. Fight now to the southpaw stands. All right, round one is underway. The South Korean Dong Hyun Kim is back, and he brings with him some momentum tonight, Joe. We'll see how he chooses to attack this particular challenge. If he wants to lean on the judo, that figures to be the path of least resistance. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. All right, so here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play. Oh, spinning back fist, he solved it right there. Very nice. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Kim gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Ooh, well placed with the kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. He's fainting with the punch. 
All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. So getting right to the strategy here, Joey told us he wanted to chew up that lead leg of his opponent. First leg kick lands flush. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the bottom. So nicely done with the trip there. He's posturing up here. Lee gets hit with a kick. Visibly limping here. Big left hand lands upstairs. Using his jab effectively here, it's an underutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, not this guy. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Big body shot body! Vicious combination. And a good right hand counter. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh, shoot. Oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. These are some bombs he is throwing. Big straight punch. Some of the action here. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Second round here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Nice. Man, his face is a mess. Getting the hands going here early. All right, so another stiff Wow! Oh! He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there. Oh! oh! Huge right hand! hand. for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension behind it, and his opponent had absolutely no chance after that weapon was thrown. A perfect land and perfect execution to get the knockout with that kick here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Dong Young Stunga. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the